On today's video, I am walking you through how you can use Trello to better organize your business so you can be an organization pro. Hello and welcome back to my channel. If it is your first time here, my name is Jessica and I can't wait to help you in your business in some way. This channel is dedicated to helping you figure out that video and YouTube marketing strategy that you know your business is missing and you're ready to play big time. So you should be watching this, just saying. And if that sounds like something you're interested in, I would hit subscribe if I were you because I don't want you to miss any other tips and tricks that I bring to you three times a week. Now, like I mentioned a minute ago, I am going to walk you through how to use Trello to actually organize and systematize your business. I'm going to help you get a better business by organizing your business better with Trello. Bam! Lots of tongue twisters in that one. Now, I've done the traditional how to use Trello and how to use Butler for Trello and fun hacks with Trello. So you guys know by now that I love me some Trello, but this particular video is all about how to actually use it inside of your business to make it more organized and to help you really flesh out the things you need inside your business in your projects and all of that jazz. So let's go ahead and jump into it and you'll be more organized in no time. All right, to show you how to best use this for organization inside of your business, I wanna start in the profile tab. So to get to that, you just click on your face and then go to profile. Once you're there, you'll see all the teams that you are a member of or have created. And for me, I wanna click on this Hey Jessica team. Now, when you click on the team name, you can actually see all of the boards that are within this team, which means I have some client boards in here. I have my blog workflow, course workflow boards, all of this stuff. Anything that's a new project, I create a new board for. Now I have like a marketing calendar, sales funnel, the podcast, my Vidfluential U launch, webinar workflow. I have a lot of things in here and it's basically just totally organized in a way where I know that I can go to my team and I can say, okay, where is my marketing calendar? Okay, where is my regular calendar? Where's my blog flow? But from here, I kind of want to uh, challenge you to do what works best for you, but I'm going to explain what I do. So I have this calendar board. Now, when I click here, you're going to see tasks for the week for my team, tasks for the week for some other people we've got, and then we have Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, the weekend, and in the future. Now, what happens here is I like to look at this on a calendar view. So you'll see there's nothing going forward because we're actually revamping a lot of our calendars, but what I do is I set up Butler on my other boards and I have Butler feed everything from my other boards to this master calendar board. So again, when I go back to my team board and let's say I have this marketing calendar board or sales funnel board or a course launch board, anytime I put anything in any of these boards, it will auto feed into my master calendar. So I have one giant master calendar board that helps me figure out what goes on week to week. So I can look at Monday and I can say, okay, on Monday, I need to get these things done. On Tuesday, I need to get these things done. On Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, etc. But I can also look out into the future. So when I'm looking at that calendar view, I can see, okay, um, two weeks from now, my marketing calendar fed into this and it's showing me that I need to start going live about a certain topic so I can promote X, Y, or Z. So I have everything feeding to a master calendar board. And then within that master calendar board, what happens is when something is due in the next seven days, from this future column, Butler knows to take it from future and put it in the tasks for this week column. Then my team will go in and say, okay, that needs to be done on Monday, that needs to be done on Tuesday, et cetera, et cetera. And then we archive things as we get done with them so that we know they're no longer here. So that's kind of how that works. 
Now, this is for like massive organization. It keeps everything in one board, even though I can break things down by projects. It keeps everything in one board. So when I go to my calendar view and I say, okay, what do I have going on this week? I'll be able to see what I have going on this week, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. Now, what I also do is I will link this calendar to my Google calendar, but I turn it off for the most part inside of my Google calendar. So I don't see a bunch of random tasks, but it also allows me to be able to see, okay, I need to get this done and this done and this done. So when I'm looking at my week ahead, I can say, all right, on Monday, I know I need to get this one thing done because it's feeding in from Trello, but I have, you know, this call and this call and this call and that call and this meeting and this CrossFit appointment and all of this stuff. And I'll try and work it in, in the best I possibly can. So one master calendar feeding all of your boards that are projects on their own to that one master calendar is the way that I recommend it. Now, another thing I want to show you is when you are planning, like if you're planning your goals for the next three months or the next year, you could easily create a board that is your year long planning board. And you could go through and say, okay, this is our goals board. This is the board that we're going to put everything down on. On By the end of Q1, we want to have this much in income or this many people in a program or this many clients per month. And then Q2, we want to do this thing. And Q3, we want to do that thing. And then you can take, take each of those goals that you have mapped out in a larger plan and break them down into smaller boards. As you'll see, there's different things for different parts of my business. There are just checklists. There are SOPs that we have in our business. There's a launch plan workflow. There was a local business workshop I worked on. Noisemakers Camp was a group program I did last year. My newsletter workflow, my marketing calendar. Again, Vidfluential You was a launch I did last year, but we also have things still going in there. The Vidfluential podcast keeps the podcast running on its own. And if I click on that, you'll see here my podcast workflow. So I have Butler, which basically is telling certain things to do certain things inside of this board. But then I have the info. So the process, the process, the intro and outro, and then the episodes. And then I have my launch strategy. And then I have topics. And once they're recorded, I put them over here and attach the actual recorded file to the card. And then my team knows to go in and edit it, upload it in the way they upload it, and then move it over to the scheduled and ready. So that's how we work through this process so we don't get anything lost. Because if everything was on this really big master calendar and that's the only place it was on, things like this would get lost. Now I've showed you guys my blog workflow workflow calendar before, but I'll just show you that again because it's you know, it works really well for myself and my team and is another one of those things where if I just fed it in to the big calendar, things would get lost. But looking at it where I can always come to this board and say, okay, what is going live this week? And you'll see that this week going live is this video on one of these days. And then we'll have another video going live on Thursday that I haven't mapped out quite yet because I got a little behind. But I'll be, I can see exactly when videos are going live and exactly where they are in the process by looking at that calendar view. But I have blog process, YouTube process. These are just checklists that people can follow on my team as I bring them in. And then I have ideas. So these are ideas that we're possibly doing. I have blogs in the queue. So which means basically these are blogs that I have already filmed or are already done. And I add them to the blogs in the queue like I just did. When they're ready to be edited, I will drag them up under here and I will tag my editor. When that is done, she will drag it over here and tag the writer. And then when both of those are done, Rayanna, my writer, will drag it over here and tag the rest of my team to say, okay, this video is totally ready. I will upload it to YouTube and optimize it on YouTube. And then another part of my team will go in and upload it on the actual blog so that it's ready. And then once that's done, we move it over to finalized and scheduled. So we have a running list here of all the blogs we've done with videos for the last long time. <laughs> There's a lot of videos in here. So 
that's kind of how that works for us. But again, if I had that on a big master calendar, it would get very messy and very lost. So what I do is I feed all of these into my master calendar. But when I want to say, okay, what is due on the blog this week? What have I got going? What YouTube videos have I got going live? I can come here and see exactly what is ready and what is not. So I basically follow this process with everything. So if I I want to write a book sometime. So inside of this book board is how I plan to get that done. So maybe it says in April, I write chapters one through three, or I outline the book or whatever. Again, feeding to my master calendar, but keeping that particular project on its own board. Okay. So do you already feel just a little bit more organized than you did a minute ago? Me too. <laughs> so True confession, I am not a naturally organized person. And if you've listened to the podcast or watched my Instagram stories, you probably know that. So I use Trello as like my brain outside of my own brain to keep things organized. And my team really helps me organize that way. So hopefully you learned something new. And I'd love for you to comment below and let me know what your favorite way to use Trello is inside of your business, because I'm always looking for new ways to use it as well. And then don't forget to hit subscribe so you don't miss any other tutorials about YouTube, video, marketing, equipment, confidence, whatevs ever again. So hit subscribe and I'll see you next time. Bye y'all.